But how many pay-per-view buys here in the States do you think this fight's going to do? I'm going to say 500,000. You know, is this fight bigger than Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman? In regards to Pacquiao got that large Asian fan base. You know, does this feel like it's bigger than that? When we was like, oh, Manny Pacquiao might lose. Like, this don't feel, they're trying. You know, I like, I like what they're doing. I like what they're putting into it. But I'm thinking about a 500,000, 600,000. I don't know. I'm just not, like, why don't, you know, and I've covered every pay-per-view for the last, how many years? Five, six, seven, eight years? How come I don't feel, like, overwhelmed? You know? I don't know. 750K? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. If they do 750K, third fight, automatic. That's just that. That's it. They're doing it. It's bigger than Pac Thurman. They need to talk shit and shit and be friends. You know, maybe if maybe if they go do the PBC face to face, I'm hoping they do it today. Uh, look down below in the description box. That's the TV content schedule. That's the official shit from the press release. So the first episode of Inside Wilder vs. Fury 2 aired today before the press conference. That's my next video. It's coming out after this video. Also, my colleague, shout out to him, Rob Suarez, is at the press conference right now sending over content. We're going to get that stuff out with whoever he talks to. And then tonight, I'm covering the uh, Dana Garcia card, and we're going to be here for the post-fight press conference. So it's going to be a long night. 300,000 at best. What UFC lines up with this fight? Other sports events? I don't know. 650 to 800,000? HD streams are a widely available, bro. Like, streaming is crazy as shit these days. It's so easy. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. Like, it's so easy. Listen, you can do that shit on your iPad, on your fucking phone. Press conference was shown on Fox, ESPN News, and the ESPN app, and the Fox Sports Go app. You know? I mean, yeah, it's that. It's. But do you feel as though, like, the casuals are being reeled in? Do you feel like they're, like, like the casuals, like, what's this press conference? Like, imagine if you've never seen Deontay Wilder or you've never seen Tyson Fury before, and you watch this. Would you be like, oh, I'm tuning into this. What? These guys are, you know... I don't know. I don't know. 5.8 million pay-per-view buys? What? Oh, you're talking about Joshua Wilder. Yeah, right. But nonetheless, it's going to be a big fight because you know what? No matter what we say, we're all going to be watching this shit. It's my job to watch it. Obviously, I'm going to buy it. I just want to know what they're going to do. For example, okay. When it came to Mayweather versus Pacquiao. HBO and Showtime did a joint broadcast, but all the money went the same place. In this case, the money is technically going to the same place because of the Fox and Disney ESPN connection at the top, top, top. But where, like, like, okay, for example, if I buy you on ESPN Plus, is the ESPN Plus, um, um, I pay my $80. I order on ESPN Plus. Is it going to be the same broadcast as if I buy on Fox Sports Go? Will they be competing with each other? Like, no, it's going to be our ESPN broadcast team with uh, Tessa Tor, Bernardo Asuna, uh, Andre Ward, um, Tim Bradley, uh, Kriegel. Or is it going to be an, over on the Fox spot, Fox side, um, Albert, Goosen, Lennox Lewis, you know, um, um, Marcos Vegas, fucking baby hands, Ray Flores, or they're going to do a mishmash like they did today. And it's going to be the same on both sides, like on, on ESPN and Fox. I think you will get to choose. I think, you know, do you think that's smart if they let us get to choose? I like that idea, you know, and I would buy both. If they say, listen, I would buy both. I would, I would pay that 160. For me, I'm talking about for the job, not like if I was a fan. I'm talking about like because for the job. You see what I'm saying? I would do that. Because they do want to drive traffic to the ESPN Plus app like um, like the UFC. 
And UFC numbers have been, you know, heavily rumored to be suffering once they went to the ESPN Plus app. Because it's not just as easy as going to your TV and ordering it, you know? Fox Sports app will get the most pay-per-view buys over the ESPN Plus. Yeah, all the money goes the same place. What do you mean by that? Is the Fox Sports app more popular than the ESPN Plus app? Because it's been around longer? Here, in fact, let's go take a look around these apps, by the way. I have all of that shit. Let's go look around. As, or, or, do, or in fact, do you think it will be one of the most talked about? Come on, get me out of here. Let's go look around. In fact, now let's pull it over here. Let's pull it over here. Yeah, we got all that shit. So let's go look around. Let's go take a little walk through while we're here. So this is what I normally do. I only watch PBC content on here. So as soon as I go to my search bar, this is the Fox Sports Go app here in the States. Just click on PBC. And right here is all of the content that they have. So, for example, I'm going to I'm going to do you guys a solid and I'm actually going to let you guys get a little preview of this and I'm going to watch the full episode. So what I'm about to show you guys here over in the UK, you guys can't watch this yet until they release it on the PBC on Fox YouTube page. But this is my next video. So this is the Fox Sports Go hung up his jersey. No, it didn't. It says it's right here. Sometimes they do that. Like the shit may not be uploaded to the site. I don't like that. But this is what we're going to do. I do have it over here. Ha ha. Yeah, I know, Kel. What the fuck happened in Tenerife, man? We need answers. So where we at? Where we at? Inside one. So basically, it's four parts. Um, it's PBC Fight Camp, but with a different name. Um, it, it's called um, Inside PBC Boxing. No, Inside. Not PBC. Inside Wilder versus Fury 2. All right? So I'm going to show you the opening. It's a free TV version of HBO 24-7 and All Access to compare it to. So this just premiered today. I'm going to watch this and do a recap video. So here, let me uh, let this play. Hold on. I got to restart my computer so I can fix the sound, but that's after the stream. Yeah, uh, let this play. Hold on. I got to restart. To be safer. And of course, extraordinary stories to tell. Start this tale as one of unfinished business. The two best heavyweights in the world, whose epic first meeting produced a final round for the ages. Decision was a draw, and that only intensified the hunger for a sequel. To this day, to this day, as characters to this and day, contrasts, their portraits could hardly be constructed any better. One is a towering American who walked into his first gym at 19, armed only with the desperation to survive and to care for his family, and it turned out a lethal weapon. That would carry him to the yeah, please like the video. The like the video, damn it. It's all it took. Across the ring, he'll find again the massive Englishman from a family that's been fighting for nearly a century. Look at Fury! Full of complex demons, but also the simplest resource a fighter can call upon. A will without any limits. <laughs> February 22nd stands to be the latest chapter in the storied history of boxing's heavyweight division. Welcome to Inside Wilder vs. Fury 2. Yeah, so um, that's the beginning of the episode. I'm going to watch that. As soon as this is over and go cook some dinner and shouldn't get ready for the fights tonight. Hopefully Danny Garcia or Steve Fulton don't lose. Because it's been a bad few weeks for Philly boxing. You dig me? So um, you can watch this on demand 
or I put the schedule down below in the um, um, description box. So it's going to be four episodes. I'm going to be reviewing them all. Yeah, that's a good thing. Let's go look at the uh, tickets while we're here. I'm going to re be reviewing them all, and we're going to be talking about it. But first, let's go check out the ESPN Plus app and see if they put anything on there in relation to Wilder Fury 2 content. Mm. I want to play some 2K. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to squeeze in one little game before I start this boxing shit because the, um, the uh, Showtime undercard starts in about an hour and a half. I've been doing boxing all day. Yeah, it's $80 pay-per-view over here. And then the UFC undercards are on. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I got to sign in. Ah, I got to sign in, you bastards. Let me... Ah, well, y'all got to wait. Y'all got to wait. Y'all got to wait. So let's go buy some Wilder Fury 2 tickets. Let's go buy some Wilder Fury 2 tickets. Let's see here. I think it's going to sell better than the first one. They had to give a lot of tickets out for the first one. Let's fuck out of here, T.Y. I'm back on Fighting Lad. I hook all my shit up again. I'm going to start body beating you niggas on the late night. Yo, I forgot how many tickets they gave out for the first one. It was a lot of them. But this one's going to sell. Highest tickets, $2,500. Y'all buying this shit? Let's see here. I ain't gonna lie. I streamed the uh, the uh, the Pelicans game last night in high definition on my iPad. You don't even have to get League Pass no more. That's crazy, and I feel ashamed. Let's see. Let's go buy some tickets. How much is this ticket? That shit's a thousand dollars, man. They're expecting some high rollers. Well, let's find the worst ticket in the house. Let's find a, a bad. I want this ticket. Let's get this bad ticket. Seven fifty? They are, are they are they tripping? What's what's wrong with them, Bruh, And this is not even a closed off section. This is at the 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 the, the back of the back of the house. This is the back of the back of the house. This shit gonna sell though. See, they relying on 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 the UK. They relying on y'all to fly over here. That's what they doing. And y'all gonna fly over here and get drunk, fuck shit up. That's how y'all always roll. But still, even if it's not a bad seat, but still it's just like 750 just to like goddamn. I mean, obviously that shit gonna drop. See, let me tell you how it works. The ticket prices drop like a week before the fight and then they shoot back up and then they just eliminate all of the you can't buy them from online nowhere so they're gonna drop for a short period of time you know you just got to keep checking back every day and they're gonna drop but you never know when and they're gonna just go back up out of nowhere ain't nothing left in the front but a lot of this shit be comps anyway fighters and shit like that the undercard is supposed to feature. Let me just look these guys up, all right? Just to pull them up. Undercard, boom. Emmanuel Navarrete. WBO 122-pound champion. Uppercuts from hell. He's supposed to be taking on this guy right here. Where you at, brah? Are you even ranked by box rec anywhere? Fuck it, I'll look him up. Geo. So there's one fight. This will fuck around and be the uh, co-feature or the chief support, the, the the chief you know head undercard because it's a world champion versus this guy Geo Santissima, 19 and two with 16 KOs. So there's one fight. Another fight. Gerald Washington. You're gonna have Gerald Washington. It's other rumor. Gerald Washington. Versus who? Where you at? The Prince. 
Charles Martin. And I wouldn't be surprised if if um, the winner of this fights Andy Ruiz. I wouldn't be surprised. And another fight is supposed to be a PBC versus a top ranked fighter. That is the undercard. Now, I didn't expect the undercard to be too good anyway, because when you have two fighters, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, who's supposed to make both make about $20 million or so or some shit guaranteed some old shit like that. Some old crazy shit they're supposed to be making. You know, I don't expect the undercard to be good. You know, that's just how the game works. So what we going to do. Is I'm going to get up out of here because I got to get ready for this card tonight. And I'm watching, I'm covering Bellator, I'm covering UFC, and I'm covering um, um, the Steve Foden Orno Hygie fight, the uh, Jared Hurd versus Francisco Santana fight. I'm expecting for him to get a boot put in his ass. Um, Santana, no disrespect. And um, Danny Garcia versus Ivan Radcatch. Somebody's getting knocked out. It's likely going to be Ivan Radcatch. Um, that card is going to be on Box Nation over in the UK and here in the States on Showtime. And then, here, let me pull it up while we're here. We're going to be here for the... Um, um, it is the start of the new year. Post-fight press conference. So they already got it listed. It's going to be a long night. So I was supposed to take a nap after this, but it looks like that shit ain't going down. So yeah, post fight press conference. The um, undercard starts at uh, seven p.m., and that's where How we at with it. You. So, um, T Street controversy with FightView360.com. See you guys later on tonight. Please subscribe.